somebody. Kenny Douglas got a better strategy. In a higgy day and most can is hot up. Election them a get wrote up. But no Paul Wicked and Fear can all who are here to the banal the us. Many a call but a Kenny them chose us. All with the pride none of them can refute us. Kenny going to bang up all of them when election come and we not care if they go up. The most I with you forever. You are going to be number five savior. Kenny Douglas you and left. For the whole of Hub City and for the whole of SKB, can you hear the man with the remedy? Can you Douglas get a better strategy? Come with your flavor! Good night! Good night! How you doing? How you doing? You ready? You ready? The big day on Friday. Freedom is coming. Freedom is coming. Freedom is coming. Comrades, Judgment Day is coming for Team Unity, for PLP, for PAM, and CCM. Judgment Day is this coming Friday, 5th day of August 2022. I want you to show me your voting finger. Show, show me, me your voting, voting finger. finger. Raise up your voting finger. Show me your voting finger. Raise up the voting. All right, me and my neighbor. Voting for labor. Voting for labor. Me and my neighbor. Voting for labor. Comrades, let me say a pleasant good evening to all comrades here this evening. All of you this evening. I want to say good evening also to those comrades and citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis who are listening by the way of the internet. I want to say to our CARICOM nationals, I see some Guyanese in the crowd. Good evening to my Guyanese friends, Jamaicans, St. Lucians, Antiguans, all of you. A pleasant good evening. Estoy aquí viendo los cubanos también. ¿Dónde están los cubanos? ¿Dónde están los dominicanos? Siempre estamos aquí con ustedes. My good people. Comrades, we have one more day, as I said before, before Judgment Day. And I want to say to you, there are a number of things that are going on right now that I want you to be aware of. My good people, you heard John L. Powell when he said that no more cheating no more cheating again will happen in the elections. So we must keep our eyes open for all of them. As a matter of fact, with one more day to go, I want you, the people, to be very vigilant. If you have to sleep next to the polling stations, I want you to sleep right there. If you have to sleep in the containers, Sleep right there. We cannot allow them to steal our labor government away from us. We cannot allow them to steal our labor government away from us. Just before I go into my presentation, I want to talk about in constituency number five. Where just yesterday, I was told that five, six, there is a little, little, small container down there. Can you believe when I went down there, the container is painted orange. 
Owen, you know what you know what that means? What Owens means here? PLP. You know, when I saw this, I am saying something is wrong. Something is wrong. But I want to say to Timothy Harris and PLP that Kenny Douglas and the St. Kitts and Nevis Labour Party would be guarding that one and all of the other polling stations because no cheating will go on in Sandy Point again. John L. Powell told us about the cheating. So we have to be vigilant. We have to guard every polling station. And you heard it from our other candidates. When they are moving the boxes, you must be behind the boxes. Anywhere they turn, they turn left, you go left. They turn right, you go right. If they go up in the ear, you go up in the ear. And if they go down in the hole, we go down in the hole too. Anywhere they go, we have to be behind them because they must not steal this election from the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party. Let me come back right here in constituency number five. Number three, sorry. Conway's Nation. Conway's is the man for number three, he told you already. Conway's told you in Calypso, when he lose, he always come back and come back better. He told you he lost to Aquila, who is up until now still hiding in government. But, but wait, in government? No, because she was fired. So she's not hiding in government anymore. But he told you how lazy she was. She did nothing for the people of constituency number three. So I'm saying to you, he told us, even though he was not in government, when he was elected, he told you how he did, what he did with the Boyd's play field. He told you what he did with the Patsy Allers playing field. He told you what he did with the roads here in constituency number three. He told you what he did with scholarships for the students in the different schools in constituency number three. He told you how he assisted the football teams in constituency number three. So constituency number three. This man did so many things for constituency number three and he was not in government. Can you imagine what this man will do for you, the people of constituency number three, if he's in government? So I'm asking you to give Conway Maynard a next chance to be your representative here in constituency number three. And if you do that, you will be jumping up again with King Conway. <laughs> My good people, let me go and speak to my constituents of number five. Number five, where are you? Come alive, number five. Number five, where are you? Come People alive. You ready? From Brimstone Hill to La Valley. Oh, na, na, na. Oh, na, na, na. Singing this one song, all hail the Patriot Kenny. Yeah, long time we've been waiting for something to make us feel the vibe. The soldier in this red army makes Sandy Point come alive. Alive in number five, we never die, you know. Alive in number five, many people cry, you know. Alive in number five, come let me do it together. Alive in five, we are many people for labor. Number five, for 18 long years, we had a failed representative in Sean Richards. 18 long years. He had 11 years out of government. But he had the last seven years as the deputy prime minister of our federation. And what he did for the people of constituency number five. Nada, nothing. As a matter of fact, little or no development happened in constituency number five. I am a strong Labour supporter. I'm a candidate 
And I want to say to you, when he won in 2015, I myself was looking forward for the work that would have been done in constituency number five. But fast forward to 2022. What has he really done in constituency number five? Nothing. Nothing. He has neglected the people of constituency number five. He has used his own mantra, no gimmicks and no checks towards the people of constituency number five. Nothing whatsoever. And he has the heart. After he has been fired by Timothy Harris, he is coming around now and asking the people of constituency number five to give him another chance. Making promises after promises after promises. I want to say to you, the people of constituency number five, <laughs> when he comes to you asking you for your support, giving you more empty promises, I want you to tell him, no time, go away from me. I am supporting Kenny. I am rolling with the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party. Sean Richards told us in constituency number five that he had a piece of land that he bought and he sold it for so much money. He told us that he used the money that he bought this land with to pay off for his house in Sandy Point. He told the people that he used this same money to pay off for some villa that he has over there in Horizon. Imagine that he used the governing purse as he told the people to buy all of these things. But the people of Sandy Point, constituency number five, they are there still waiting for houses and businesses. What Sean has done to the people of Sandy Point is to reject them and neglect them for seven long years as the Deputy Prime Minister. When they go to him and ask him for assistance, he told them that his hands are tied. What Deputy Prime Minister can we have and telling the people of constituency number five that his hands are tied? My people of constituency number five, when you elect me on Friday, as your next representative, I will never say to you that my hands are tied. Whatever I can do for you, the people of constituency number five, and by extension, the people of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, I will do it. Because you, the people, you are my priority. I told you, the people, that I am a sportsman. That is my love. And I told you everything that I will be doing for you, the sportsmen and the sportswomen of this federation. I told the basketball players up at Scabba that no more when rain falls or we have bad weather, that these games will be put off for two and three and four and five days. No more. Because Kenny Douglas, Dr. Terence was the leader and the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party. We will ensure that you have your indoor stadium for basketball, volleyball, netball, handball, all these different sports. Put your hand together for the St. Kitts Nevis next government, the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party. I want to say to all the sportsmen and all the sportswomen, when we have football competition, netball, basketball, athletics, whatever it is, we will ensure that scouts come down here, sit down and look at you, and all the talented footballers, all the talented sportsmen and sportswomen, 
you will get your opportunity to go out there regionally and internationally and represent us here in St. Kitts and Nevis. We told you about the academy that we will be building. We told you that all the sportsmen, not just in St. Kitts and Nevis and the sportswomen, but people from the neighboring countries, they will be able to come in and get sports education from our chain coaches and trainers right here in St. Kitts and Nevis. I want to say to all sporting disciplines that very, very soon, you will get, very, very soon, you will get your competition here where we will have semi-pro semi -pro football here, semi-pro cricket right here, all these different sporting disciplines. You will be playing for money, for cash. You will be paid playing sports right here in St. Kitts and Nevis. You should be able to make a living here in St. Kitts and Nevis after the sport that you are playing. That is my vision for you, the sportsmen and sportswomen of this federation. I want to go back in constituency number five. And I told you before that the persons who are asking for houses, the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party, we are here at your rescue. We did it already and we are going to do it again because between 1995 and 2015, we created a revolution here, a housing revolution, where we built over 5,000 houses, and we will do it again. Time to 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 do it again. Our farmers, our farmers in Sandy Point and all over the Federation, I want you to look forward for better in agriculture. Those persons, the elderly, I want to say this to you. Because I suffered this in Sandy Point. I want to build a decade center for the elderly in constituency number five. You know why I'm so passionate about building a decade center for the elderly in constituency number five? Because I suffered when my father, who had dementia, he walked away one day while I was working. Every single day I'm working and I'm thinking about my father. What will happen to him? And one day while we had examination for CXC, I received a call and they told me, Kenny, your father has walked away. I had to stop my exams. And even the students took a walk with me. And those of you who know Beltate, we walk up and down the place. And about six, seven o'clock that evening, that is when my father was found dead on the sand close to Newton Ground. And that is why building a daycare center is so close to me because I don't want this to happen to anybody else. It happened to my father, and it must not happen to another old person in St. Kitts and Nevis. And that is why Kenny Douglas will ensure, along with the St. Kitts and Nevis Labour government, that an elderly daycare centre is built in Sandy Point and all around St. Kitts and Nevis. I told you about healthcare. You heard, you heard every single day what is going on in JNF. But I want to say to you, Foxen Hospital in Sandy Point will not be excluded because I want in Sandy Point Foxen Hospital that doctors be present in the hospital 24-7. 24-7, whether you visit in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, or later down in the morning, you will encounter Doctors there to serve you, the people of constituency number five. That is what I want for my constituency. I want to ensure that Pox Hospital takes some of the squeeze off of JNF. Not every little thing you have to rush to pass here to JNF. So I will make sure that the 
female ward and the male ward and maternity ward is brought back to Poxton Hospital. I want to make sure that we have MRI machines, X-ray machines, ultrasound machines, dialysis machines right down here in constituency number five. Number five, I told you, you are my priority and I will make sure I take care of you. I want to say to you that the pharmacy in Sandy Point Box Hospital will be equipped with all of the pharmaceuticals that will make sure that you don't have to travel to Basia to buy any type of medication here in Basia because we will have all of that in constituency number five. This is what the failed representative couldn't do for seven years. And there are so many more things that I want to do for you, the people of Sandy Point, Fitchy and La Valley. So I want to say to you finally that a vote for your Sully, Kenny Douglas, in constituency number five is a vote for betterment. A vote for Kenny Douglas in constituency number five means a vote for development. A vote for Kenny Douglas is a vote for upliftment. A vote for Kenny Douglas is a vote for improvement. A vote for Kenny Douglas is a vote for empowerment. And so, on this coming Friday, the 5th day of August, 2022, vote for me, vote for Kenny Douglas, vote for the hand, vote for the St. Kitts, Nevis, Labour Party, vote for a new government. Thank you very much. I love you, and God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye.